Good morning, everybody! It's the morning! Coffee on deck, and we're going thrifting today. There's Allie over there. She's I'm making... not ready for this. She, she's not ready. She's making green tea. I'm ready. I just had my coffee. <laughs> Let's go thrifting! What's going on, guys? I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Allie Roots. And together, together we, we are Rally Roots. Roots! See, like that. Boom! I was gonna match you, but then I thought it might be lame if we wore the exact same thing. Lame. <laughs> We're going thrifting, guys. Um, I think the plan today is to head to one of our little honey hole type spots in Lakeland, Salvation Army. We're gonna go hit that one up, and then there's a couple more thrift stores on the way back home. So I think we're gonna go thrift for like, what? Three hours? A few hours, yeah. however long it takes. We always say, okay, 40 minutes in this sort of store, we need to leave by this time, right. we end up spending an hour and a half. Yeah. So. I think what'll end up happening is we'll go Salvation Army, then to that bigger Goodwill, because we found some good stuff there. Ha. I like that Goodwill. And yeah. then we'll see where the time is at that point. But at least two thrift stores today, should be a good day sourcing, let go. First stop, Salvation Army Family Store. Let's go rickety rickety wreck this store. <laughs> look how cool, guys. Whenever you see something that's like strange looking, make sure you look it up, especially when it's made in Germany. These are, they'll be $5 half off, worth about 50 bucks. I think I'm actually gonna pass on these. Yeah. So one thing we always do is find a nice bright lit spot in the thrift store after we found everything and look through all the stuff for stains or rips. This is cool too, there. There's a Nike US soccer. Bags on, bags on, bags. Nice. It was so nice running into people at the Salvation Army who knew us. Uh, Margaret, so nice to meet you. We can't so wait. So nice to meet you yeah. and your hedgehog. We want to meet your hedgehog. Yes. We are definitely getting a, a coffee and meeting your hedgehog. And then... Uh, Josue and Daniela. Nice to meet you as well, guys. Off to Goodwill. Darcy Blows. Darcy Blows. The great Goodwill. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Do you get it? Do you get it? Like Goodwill, Goodwill? Ah, uh, you don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get me. Another Harley Davidson. This one's better. Look at the back on that. So. <laughs> Goodwill was kind of empty, huh? It was weird. There were like no people in there. Yeah. There was not that much stuff. There no. were, I mean, they may have had a sale or something. We should have asked, but I think there so. were not that many people shopping because there wasn't that much stuff and we could actually push stuff over and sort through things. And we've never gone into a Goodwill that was you can actually look at the stuff yeah. you have to really like shove. They must have like purged a bunch of inventory or something. I don't know. Or had a crazy sale. But we didn't find much there. Um, I did find two Harley Davidson shirts, which we'll show you guys later. Harley Davidson stuff has been flying off the shelves for us. So we are looking out for that, which is cool. We decided one more thrift store and then we're going to get a bite to eat with my dad who's in town. Which you can is cool. hear him talk with his accent. La 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 la. I am my dad. <laughs> you can't do your dad's accent even a little bit. It's crazy weird. I can't. So it's yeah, one more thrift store process. Yeah. One more thrift store, lunch with dad, home to show you what we got. We'll record him speaking for everybody. <laughs> Lighthouse family thrift store fair warning we have never been to this thrift store before uh -huh. we have been to lighthouse ministry stores and they are very very hit and miss so mm -hmm. this looks like a small one um so we should be able to clear through it pretty fast clear through it yeah well what time do we have to be out for dinner with your dad i don't know probably let's give it half an hour in there and see what we can find he drives slow <laughs> oh my god <laughs> let's go see what we can get
Look at my dad. Watch him business. Look at him business. People want to hear you say funny words. They like your accent. Funny words, accent. <laughs> <laughs> Win a burger challenge. Oh, we're all watching. Come on, burger. Oh no, the claw's not big enough. Uh oh. What's gonna happen? Another drop, drop one. Okay. I think so. Oh no! Good one. Good one. Give me that <gasps> burger. Good one. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Thanks for dinner, Dad. Oh, you're welcome. You're the best. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. See you, sweetie. Love you. Thank you for dinner. All right, guys, we are back home, and here is our haul for the day. We got some good shoes today, some good clothing. Let us show you one by one what we bought. First up are these Vince Camuto shoes, or Camuto? Yeah, Vince Camuto shoes. They are platform heels, Mary Jane's. Black and beige is what I put in to find the comps for them, and I found an exact comp for 60 bucks. So hopefully we can get around $60 for them, and there are no others listed. Scored on these Haflinger clogs. Guys, whenever you see something that's kind of weird looking, especially when it says like made in Germany or made in Italy or something like that, give them a look, look them up online and see what you can find. These shoes are worth at least $50. This is a very nice pair of Cole Haan driving loafers. What's cool about them is that they are the waterproof Cole Haan bottoms. If you guys look right there, it says waterproof. This is a really nice pair of shoes and the color is perfect for style right now. People are looking for this color. So we should get around 35 bucks for this pair. Johnston and Murphy cap toe dress shoes. I don't know what it is about me and finding them all the time, but I always find them. And I'm really good now at looking up comps. The way I did was I searched and I found a matching one for this area here. They're in really nice condition on the bottom. This area is only a tiny bit worn. Always check for that because if this, if more than that is missing, you probably don't want to pick them up because it'll mess up the integrity of the gate of the person who's going to purchase them and they will get returned. I found comps on them between $43 and $60 on average, but there were lots of comps, so they are a good seller. These are Merrill brand sandals. It's rare that we find sandals like this for hiking. Merrill usually makes like the bigger hiking boots, but these are pretty cool. Um, they weren't very expensive. We only paid, I believe, like two dollars, two dollars for them, yeah. or something like that. So even if they sell for twenty bucks for us, we'll be happy with that. These are Solomon XA Pro shoes. They're a really good brand, guys. They make awesome running shoes. These ones are more for hiking, but they will still sell very well for us. We expect to get at least $40 for these particular shoes. An Orvis plaid button down. We love this brand. This is what it looks like, the tag. And the comps are about 25 bucks. Took a shot on this polo. Not sure how it'll sell, but it is Ryder Cup 97. And it's just a regular polo, but it's really cool branded Europe Ryder Cup. And there you go, European team collection. I don't know, maybe 20 bucks for that one. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce this brand. Uniquo? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's, it was one of those things that I just thought I would look it up to see if it was expensive at all. And this exact one, the literally the exact same polo, sold for $39. So it was worth it. Grab this t-shirt, Tostitos Fiesta Bowl. It was only $1.50. Uh, should go for around 15 to 20 dollars, but look how funny it is. Maybe it'll even be a t-shirt experiment shirt. Hilo Hattie, the Hawaiian original. This is a nice Hawaiian made button down. These are cool if you can find good graphics on them. You'll notice that there are a ton of sales on this brand. It's a very popular Hawaiian shirt. This one we expect to get around 22 dollars for. Tommy for your mommy. There it is, embroidered polo, and we should get about 20 bucks for it. It even has a little box logo on the sleeve oh, right there. If you ever see something labeled cashmere, look it up. This is a good brand and a very good fabric. 100% cashmere, Italian J. Crew sweater. We should get at least $30 for that sweater. Harley Davidson long sleeve shirt. These have been selling really well for us, nice and quickly. We should get about $22 for it. Even has a nice little Harley Davidson on the sleeve. Show you that there. 
Just a big Nike swoosh t-shirt. This will go in our t-shirt experiment and we'll get between 10 to 12 bucks for that. Only paid a dollar. One of the finds of the day, guys, this is a Peter Millar. And you guys have seen that logo before. Masters, perfect shirt, perfect condition. We should get at least $40 for that polo. And another Harley Davidson long sleeve button up. Excellent use condition, guys. We should get around $25 for it. Look at that embroidery. Ho, 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 it gets better. Repop of this Black Sabbath shirt. The artwork was done in 2007. The date's here, it's really small. You probably can't see it. And we found a couple of comps when we got home. Didn't realize it wasn't worth as much, so it'll probably only go for $15. Maybe I should keep it and wear it. This is kind of a strange Orvis item. Let us know if you know anything about it more, guys. It looks vintage to me, but it's like a hooded 100% nylon. It's almost like a rain jacket, I guess. Either way, it wasn't very expensive, and I would expect us to get at least 25 bucks for it. And then last but not least, guys, these were half off at Salvation Army. Paid $2 for them. Just a simple pair of Nike US soccer shorts. Nice embroidered patch on them. And we get about 20 bucks for these. And there's our haul for the day. There she blows. It was fun. We went to three thrift stores. We spent, what, three hours maybe? Thrifting? I have no uh, idea. I should time it this time. <laughs> something like three hours. We got some pretty decent stuff as you saw. But that's it for today, guys. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with us. Had lunch with dad. That was really awesome. Thanks, dad, for lunch. Love my daddy. He's the best, <laughs> the best. dad in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. We will see you very soon. Stay tuned for some really, really cool videos coming up. When we start this trip, you guys are going to see some awesome stuff. So. Thanks for hanging out with us. Please subscribe to our channel. Please like this video. Give her a thumbs up, please. It and, really helps. And leave a comment. Comments help too. Yeah. Yeah. Something awesome. Yeah. Say something awesome. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys next time. I'm Ryan Roots. I'm Allie Roots. And, and together, together we, we are Rally Roots. Peace. There it is. Come on. There we go.